That's very interesting. So perhaps now is the time to just nail down a little bit more specifically your take on the definition of the technological singularity. And because one interesting element that comes to mind based on what you just said is the fact that it seems to me that according to you it is more of a process rather than a single point in time. Definitely. Because it's ongoing rather than a specific point in time. Because my interpretation of race definition is that it is more of a specific point in time, whereas yours sure. is more ongoing. Sure. Um, so um, I believe that um, there are um, important changes in, in the way that, that complex structures uh, express uh, their maximum potential. Uh, and so uh, this potential is, is not always the same. And one example of, of, of this difference is how easily a given unit, a given structure can be introspective and self-aware the level of introspection and self-awareness that is available to humans 1.0 is, is relatively basic. Uh, whether we strive to achieve that through uh, means of, of, of meditation or uh, via uh, uh, DNA sequencing uh, in order to access our mental or biological source code, uh, it is a struggle. Uh, as, as a species, it took us many years, you know, whether it is 10,000, 100,000, or a million years that we count as uh, the length of our species, it took us that long to be able and decode our DNA. So uh, the forthcoming uh, civilization, whether based on a hybrid human robot human computer unit or we allow or, or count into the equation purely uh, robot slash computer units, these are going to have vastly superior capabilities of accessing their source code, their uh, introspection is going to be unparalleled with ours. But it doesn't mean that it will just stop there. They will have their own limitations as well, and they will uh, understand and they will strive to overcome those limitations. And subjectively, from their point of view, whether it will take another 10,000 years or just a week, it is still going to be a similar kind of struggle that we feel. And for them, overcoming their limitations will be as, uh, it will be the same experience that we are going to go through when we meet our technological singularity. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this. There are two interpretations uh, or uh, most likely outcomes that people believe would occur after such an event. Uh, one of them is the so-called Terminator or Matrix scenario, which basically means that the human race either gets extinct or becomes subjugated and enslaved in some way, or the interpretation of Ray Kurzweil, which, which is basically we become one with the machines and then we accomplish immortality and sort of intelligence starts disseminating throughout the universe. Uh, for this version, Ray Kurzweil is very often uh, criticized for being way too optimistic, according to some critics. What, in your opinion, is, your, is our chance of surviving the singularity? Um, it is a question of definition. Uh, when I talk with people who want to live uh, long, I totally agree with them. And I want to live long, live long too, and, and explore and experience. But I don't want to live, uh, you know, a hundred years or a few hundred years. I don't want to live a thousand years or a million years. I want to live billions or billions of billions of years. <laughs> However, 
your laughter makes me think that you realize the absurdity of pretending that as I adapt to changing conditions around me in order to simply exist as a as a as a as an entity I would be able and look back to what I am and as I am today and honestly say that I am the same there will necessarily be a point in the future when I will honestly say that I am not the same and that will be the moment when the individual that is me today will have died regardless of material or mental continuity it is going to be absurd to say that the two entities are the same so just as it applies to me as an individual it is going to apply to us as a species as well humanity will transform so radically that our grand 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 children and the civilization that they form would laugh if we said that we are the same you know just as it would be um, laughable if the uh, unicellular organisms from which we descend every cell of yours is dying for the first time after four billion years every cell of yours says I don't want to die and only if you have children one of your cells achieves that goal of not dying all of the others lose out however even as they do what they express is not really the same as the un un unbroken chain of life before them for four billion years is really something so different that if the cell could speak and said oh but me four billion years ago and today you Nicola we are the same you would tell the cell come on don't be silly so that is how I see our probability of of surviving that is in the long term in the short term uh, I am uh, I am naturally brought to be optimistic and I uh, rationally understand that it is not uh, the, the the most rational stance to be optimistic mm -hmm. the most rational stance is to be pessimistic however I, I am I am driven to be optimistic and I also think that it is a more constructive uh, position to be in mm -hmm. So if I understand you correctly, the key for you is the fact that there is some kind of a continuity between what we are today and what we are going to be. Um, and as long as that there's an unbroken chain of linked, you know, uh, sequence steps, then it, we could claim some kind of uh, uh, the fact that it is in a different shape and form us. But the sure. Sure, we, we can claim that. And then on, on the other side of the claim, you know, the other thing will say, yes, you're right. Or it will say, come on, don't be silly. Yeah. And, 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 and it will be okay, you know. Mm -hmm. um, however, there is one very important <clears throat> point. Uh, we have experiences of how not to make singularities happen. Uh, we have had, uh, we have induced singularity type experiences uh, in, in many occasions. Uh, and, and these were the moments when we met um, non technological civilizations or civilizations with, with, with radically different technologies that the Western European originated. Uh, conquerors um, basically destroyed destroyed through um, illnesses destroyed through um, the um, 
uh, arms that they brought to 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 them uh, and and destroyed uh, even more importantly uh, because of how uh, the moral fiber of uh, the goals and the desires of those uh, civilizations uh, was was destroyed uh, when you lose your your goals when you lose uh, your aspirations um, that is the most dangerous moment and and that is what we must aim to to avoid so so let me ask you this then um, you said about those entities that may continue for almost indefinite period of time what's your take on death then and life extension technology um, absolutely desirable and, and absolutely great. Um, and, and uh, you know, um, how is the universe going to look like in a few thousand years? We really know and understand. So how uh, either uh, uh, the, the, the containers that keep our um, bodies before being uh, revived uh, must be built, or how our new bodies have to be designed uh, once we are revived it can be can be a, a, a doable engineering uh, proposition. However, uh, if uh, we think about uh, the way the universe might look like, even in in, in our corner, in in longer time periods, then it is going to be a larger challenge, and so we have to do it step by step. Uh, and what do you think uh, such advanced technologies such as life extension technologies and anything else, what kind of impact would these ones have on our take on religion, for example, as a society and personally, in personal? Um, well, personal my, my, my take on, on, on religion is, is uh, fairly, fairly radical. Uh, I define myself as a missionary atheist. Uh, I uh, am very eager to um, educate people to a level where they uh, renounce the crutches of religion and they liberate their minds from the dogmatic stance which uh, stops them from fully uh, enjoying what the wonders of the world are, uh, which do not come from... Uh, books uh, assembled a few thousand years ago, but really uh, flourish through billions of different uh, uh, physical laws interacting in, in, in wonderful combinations. And exploring those and understanding the universe is, is much uh, uh, more beautiful than uh, the, the modest and, and uh, somewhat ridiculous aims uh, uh, that, that the various religions uh, give themselves.